guys welcome to or welcome back to my channel if you're a returning viewer or subscriber hey fam and I'm welcome back to the channel if you are a new viewer or a new subscriber I hope you like what you see and that you stay so as you can tell by the tattoo on the thumbnail we are doing a wig install a wig review from the one and the only Shein now I don't know if you guys knew Shein made wigs but they make wigs and we're about to review and install this wig that I ordered. So let's see what's inside the package. It comes into, oh, into. It comes inside this box, this really cute box. I really like their packaging, actually. I have looked at them before, and the packaging is very consistent, at least from what I can tell so far. So, oh, Ghana. The wig that I chose to review today is a burgundy wig. We're doing a colored wig review. Now, I've only ever done one like out there color wig and it was red. But today, we're doing a burgundy. But before we get into the wig itself, this is what you get inside the box. You get two wig caps and da 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 da. Oh, that's cute. They have this like gift card. Three steps to get a $20 gift card. I don't know about y'all, but I'm going to use this, like, shit. And then there's a cute user guide with all the information you need to take care of your wig. And yeah, like the user guide. Yeah, but that's all that's inside the box. Let's get into the wig itself. Okay, so here is the wig in the packaging. This is in 24 inches, 150% density, and it's a 13 by 4. Let's open it. Yeah, you can see here. Yeah, here's all like the, the little numbers and stuff. Ooh, okay. This. Ah! <laughs> Guys. <laughs> oh my days. Okay, so this is how the hair is looking. It's in a net. Let's take the net off. And get a good look at the hair itself. Ooh, ooh this hairline is nice. Oh, this hairline is nice. See the hairline? Do you see that? It's nice, like they pluck it a bit. I might not even have to pluck this, might I? I don't think so. I think I'd have to put some makeup on it and like install it. But yeah, as you can see, it's a full frontal and you get some parting space over there. The wig construction, you have two combs on the side over here and then one comb there at the back. I, I'm noticing that this wig doesn't have a band. I don't know if you know, but I love me a wig with bands. But we'll see how we finish this. It does have this on the sides. So let's see how we're able to tweak this so it stays on my, my head, my cup. But yeah, this is how the hair is looking. The hair is very soft. I am expecting a little bit of shedding considering it's a wavy unit, which is completely okay. I am gonna comb out the hair. But yeah, let's get into installing this. I think I'm gonna do a voiceover, so enjoy. Okay, so starting off, I'm just going in with some foundation, just on the lace, just trying to make sure that it matches my skin tone a little bit more closer. I have my wig cap on, well, my wig caps, because I got locks underneath here. But then I went in and I just cut off this lace at the back and I combed out the hair. The reason why I did this is because I just reckon like it's easier for me to work with the hair and to install it and stuff when it's combed out. Look at how full that hair is and look how shiny. Then I went in and I just hot combed the hair away from the lace because nothing is more annoying than when you're installing your hair and hair getting stuck up in the lace. Like, mm -mm, that's not cute, like, no. Then I went in with three layers of this got to be freezing spray and just set the hair in place and combed it into place afterwards. I did that on all three sides, just making sure that everything is down. Then I went in and put on my melting band. You wanna make sure this is as tight as possible. Like, it was so tight on my head. Like, I promise I could feel my heartbeat in my head. But like, after like 10 minutes or so, just take that off. Then you want to grab your razor and cut off the lace in a zigzag motion. 
um, so yeah I just did that all throughout the entire frontal once I was done cutting that off I just went in and glued down any flyaways um, of the lace and then I decided to go in with like a middle part for this and while I was busy you know styling that middle part I just put on my second melting pad and then now I'm just going to section out my baby hairs. Uh, I'm not the best at baby hairs, but like, you know, like they don't have to look perfect to look good. So I just went in and do my little scoop de doops here and there. I even did like the front scoop for the first time. And yeah, I just think it really tied it together. I'm just gonna go in with some wax and a hot comb. And then I sprayed my hair with some water. And went in with my comb, my brush, just brushed the hair out completely. And I went in with some curl -a -la, like curling cream, just crush the hair out. Then I'm literally just gonna repeat this on the other side. And then once I'm done and I like how my hair looks, I'm just gonna go in and really define the middle part with some foundation and a ratio comb. Just like how I'm doing it right over here. When I did a celebratory dance, you know, I was happy with how it looked. But yeah, this is how the hair looks, guys. Like, I love this hair. It's very different to what I'm used to in terms of color. But, like, the burgundy on my skin tone, mm, 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 it looks too good. It looks too good. Like, I look like a fine dime, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, make sure to check the description for any details on the hair. But yeah, I was pleasantly surprised with the quality of this sheen wig and I'd love to know what you think about it in the comments down below. With all that being said, thank you so much for seeing and for sponsoring this video. Bye!